Hi and well from me by Marley. Today I'm going to be making a little cute um, Valentine's decoration or gift. You can change out the words, it doesn't necessarily mean it need to be for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to run through everything that I think we're going to need. A block of wood, just a bit of wood, a piece of old cardboard, a made by Marley Housecraft blank, some stain, some chalk paint, some acrylic paint or pens, whatever you have, a little bit of fabric, just a tiny little bit, some thin gauge wire, paint brushes, a couple of nails, and if you have them, some stamps. If you don't have stamp alphabet stamps, you can use um, little stencils, you can use a silhouette, you can hand draw them for all it's going to be. And one more thing that we need today is, I just need to grab it off my thing, some hard coat Mod Podge. So that's the kind of thing that we, we, all the kind of materials that I think we're going to need for today. And I'm going to put the camera down and we'll get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to stain our piece of wood. I, I just use a Ron Seal stain. It's actually an exterior stain, but I use it in indoors as well. It's a colour that I like. So um, this is a kind of yellowy piece of wood. I think it's used for house framing. So we're going to have to kind of be a wee bit, maybe shabby it up a little bit at the end because it's not going to be maybe the colour that we're looking for. You don't have to stain your piece of wood, you can paint it if you'd rather have it painted. I'm just going with the stain because I think it will look quite good. Now the sides will absorb quite a lot of paint. So I'm going to just paint this off camera so you're not watching me paint a block of wood because that's a little bit boring. And while I'm off camera, I'm also going to paint my little wooden um craft blank house now if you don't have something like this you can just either find another shape that you quite like like you can buy kind of wooden craft blanks um we sell these five for five pounds and you can use them for other things but if you don't have these you could make it out of thicker cardboard or you could just cut a square out of a piece of mdf just to make a little house shape so i'm going to paint this cream and finish painting my block of wood with the stain and then we'll reconvene. So our piece of wood is dry and this is going to be our front, this is going to be our top and so um, the next thing we're, and obviously my little house is dry as well so I'm going to set those to the side because what I did next was I got the piece of cardboard and I cut a section out and I painted it white as well but what I did was I didn't go right up to the edges keep it kind of rustic I kept it um you know like I didn't put it right to the edges to give it that rustic feel this eventually is going to be glued on the front once we've once we've stamped it so that's drying our little house is painted now next thing we're going to do is we're going to give our nails a rusty paint finish and some wires a rusty paint finish and while i was off camera i got the fabric and i cut them into lots of little tiny bunting flag shapes so this sort of size i've cut quite a few i don't know how many i'm going to need and they're not all equal okay so i've cut these out here um and what we're going to do is we're going to coat these with hard coat Mod Podge so that the fabric becomes quite stiff. So get a brush. Um, this one looks good. I'm just, I'm just making sure I'm on camera. Camera's at a funny angle today. So I'm painting these um, with the Mod Podge, just the hard coat stuff just on the fronts just now, just to kind of stiffen them up. Um, and once you've done that, just kind of 
happened to the side. It's a bit fiddly, this bit. Said, I'm not sure how many I need. I've probably done too many, but just on the safe side, um, just want to make sure I had enough. So I've done six. Um, little flag shapes. Now they're all painted with charcoal mod podge, and I'll put the lid back on that. So that's. So far we've done our block of wood and stain, painted our craft blank house white and cut a piece of cardboard, did that, done our flags. Now we've got to move on to our nails. See our nails, can you see them? Have to close the camera, there we go. Two nails. And my idea for what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put the two nails in the top um like this but i need to make them look old because right now they're a bit shiny and new now i also need a piece of wire to hang my my flags on so i need it kind of measuring my sort of size and i wanted to go over my house but this wire is so thin that i'm probably going to maybe four times the wire in fours so that it's um so that it's thicker and it'll hold the flags so once i've got four times the thin wire i'm just going to bend it and um, twist it round and round and round to make one thicker strand of wire like that i think i'm going to keep the loops on this end right now because i'm probably going to be able to make that round the tops of my nails so i'll see if i can give you a close-up of that so i've kept the hook on each side and I've wound it round nice and tight so that it's one and you're going to have to do this a few times you don't want the wire to separate so make sure that you've twisted it round so now we have a piece of wire two loops on the end and our two lusty nails and what I'm going to do is if I can try and move these craft and um, these little flags out the way because I want to make a rusty paint sort of finish. Kind of stick into the cardboard. So it's my wire. These are my nails. Now uh, colours that I'm going to use are um, an autumn yellow, a little bit of um, black and some and this sort of burnt sienna rusty brown now all my paint comes from art discount buy it from there i've spoken about it many times it's it really is fab paint it lasts for ages so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a dollop of each sort of color and put it on the side of this cardboard because i'm going to mix up a kind of rusty paint finish and I'll just get a brush to get some of this out, some of that there. And I'm just going to dip in the side of my black. My black is nearly finished now. I don't want to get a new one. I've got new ones sitting up on the shelf. So um, I'm just going to get a little palette. I use the Tops Off Candle Jars as palettes. Um, um, so I've got a tiny little bit of black in, in there too. So, move some of this out of the way. We're going to start by kind of mixing some of the black in the black and some of this brown. And all you're going to do is you're going to just coat the nails. Now, you don't need to do it all the way to the bottom of your nails because it's going to be hammered into the wood, so I'm only going to go that far. And then you want to maybe add a little bit of toner, some more wood colour, and then go back into the rust with a kind of orangey colour. So that's all I'm going to do with that. Let's 
sit back here to dry. And I'll do the same with the other one. Now you can add cinnamon if you want them really crusty. Um, I sometimes add plaster of Paris just depending, but I'm going to. And the same goes for the wire. The wire is going to be slightly more tricky. If I was you, I would just try and aim to make it kind of not green because it, the colour of this wire is green. So um, it's kind of spring back into black again. And you need to kind of do your tips again. See, this is one of those messy jobs. Um, now, to let it dry, I'm just going to sit it over here just now, and I'm just going to put my nails over here as well, and they will dry off. And I'll move this to the side, get rid of all the evidence of the mess. Now, try to clean my hands. So, so far, so good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my acrylic paint pens and I'm going to put some spots on my, my little house and I'm going to use, I'm going to use red, actually do you know what, I'm not going to, yeah I am because it is a Valentine's Day. Actually that red. It's going to take ages to come out of my acrylic canes. I'll just pop a little bit of red on here and I'll just do it with acrylic. Um, loads of different ways you can do dots. You can use um, the end of a paintbrush. Um, you, can, you can just dot them on and I'm just going to dot mine on with a tiny little bit of red. I don't like that red, it's a bit bright, so I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny little mix of black here. It's still a bit red, a bit more. I don't like things too clear and really bright. There, that's a nice colour. And I'm just going to polka dot my house. I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. It's, I'm not very technical, so I don't know, I like that. I think it'd be nicer the other way around with red with white spots. Do you know what I'm going to do? See? Not everything always works out the way you want it. I'm just going to put this on here like this. So the, the back side and everything, it, the back will still be clean. It's just the front is going to be red now. It is for Valentine's Day, so... You don't have to make them for Valentine's Day now. What I'm going to do is shades up a bit and mix up some darker. Darker white around the edges.
Because I've went and done that now, I'm going to have to do the side. So what I'll do is I'll pause the camera and do it off camera. So we're back and we have an array of mess here, but these are all things that we need. Um, so I've found the stamps that I need. I like a mix of capitals and small um, letters. Just think it makes a little bit more irregular looking. Done that. We've got our cardboard. We've got our two rusty nails. We've got our flags, which somehow along the way of making this video, I've only ended up with four out of six. I don't know where they've gone. Now, the plan of action is, and I'm going to put it this way so you can tell what I'm doing, is I'm going to hot glue gun my house onto the middle of my piece of wood. And then I'm going to hammer the... I've made two little marks on top of my wood here and here. I'm going to hammer my two nails in down, but not too far down, probably maybe only about that far down, so they're sticking up in the air. This bit of wire gonna, is going to attach to um, the two nails like that, and these little flags are going to hang off it. Now, we need some more hard coat Mod Podge, and they're getting quite, quite crispy, so all you need to do is just put some glue around the top edge and hang them on, fold that over and do like a little mini bunting and stick that on to there like that. Just give it a little bit of help because it's not going to stick, we can always use um, hot glue. just just continue with with the rest just gluing the backs and folding them over your piece of wire okay. I mean if you started with six you'll have six to hang on at ha ha hook on to it I, I don't know where I haven't done anything with my table and when I came back I've checked the floor, they're not on the floor, so I have no idea where they've gone. And one more. Make sure they're not sticking to the bottom of my wood. Um, I'll stick them on here, like that. Yeah, so I think it is going to maybe need a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to have the hot glue in a minute, but you kind of understand that's going to hang over the top of there like that. So we'll put that to the side because I think it is going to need a, bit, a little bit of hot glue to kind of persuade it to stick. But the hardening Mod Podge will make the, the flags nice and we'll just keep them going on there. Right, now to the Love Stamp. Uh, I always get nervous when I'm stamping because it's not always perfect. So I'm going to try it on the mat first. So I've got a stamping pad off camera. I'm just going to try it there and it's getting it sort of central so I'm going to just do the O the V I'll touch up that sometimes the stamps And when that, do you know what I'm going to do just to straighten that up? I'm just going to take a little bit off that edge and no one will know any different. Just trying, just going to scrape some of this so it looks a bit old on that side. I'm going to touch up where I've touched it with my stamper so I can put the stamps to the side. And I'm just going to go off camera because you don't want all that noise and hammer my two nails in the top of my block and I shall be back. 
so I put the two nails in at the top there they are and um, now we are going to hot glue our lob onto the front when I was nailing the glue gluing the nails in I um, hammering the nails in sorry I fixed the, the where the stamp had kind of covered over and you know spilled over and made it look untidy so we've got our block and we've got our word love on it and you can mod podge over the top of this when it's completely dry so that it's it stays on here for good and it's um can be wiped and things so if you use the hard coat um so we've got our two nails and I think after all that persuasion, the little flags are finally stuck. So all you do is the little hooks that you had on your wire, you just hook them round and squeeze them on to the tops of your rusty painted nails. And just kind of get it into sort of like a kind of little sort of almost like a rainbow. It's going to sit like this above the house and then you need to put a line of glue along the top of your whatever you've decided to put in it on it i like it whether it's cardboard or a craft blank or and you just position it straight under your little rainbow and i'm just going to do this on here just to get rid of that nasty line of hot glue I wish I'd left it on there. Yeah, don't want it looking messy. <sighs> so there we are. Um, I think I might put a little row of beads or buttons or something along here. Um, just have a quick look at what I've got over here that I could use. I've got some little bits actually of some sea glass so I might put a couple of, of little pieces of sea glass there and maybe a wee stone I think I'm going to glue these on the front of that like that so I'll just get my hot glue which is running all over the place off camera and I'll dip these in No glue strands on it. There now. Where is the hot glue brand gone? Fun strand there. I'm just going to hook it up a bit wide. There now. I'm going to bring the camera down and I'm going to show you what I've done. So there we are, there's our little block of wood. We painted our rusty nails, we made the little printed love sign, we did the little rainbow flag. It's a little rustic kind of cute little piece of decor that would look awesome with any sort of word you, you don't have to have. Um, if I can hold the camera so you don't have to have the word love, you could have happy birthday or I love you or new home, new house and this kind of rustic idea here, you could put paper flags on it if you want, you can really make it your own. I've seen um, some people do some really cute kind of little rustic home designs so you know you just have to kind of like get a kind of close up. Now I'm going to stage it out somewhere cute but right now this is in the studio. So I'm Lel, uh, I'm from Made by Marley. If you like this video, please think about subscribing and if you really like it, share it with somebody else and maybe they can make a cute little piece of home decor um, for the one they love. Um, thank you for watching.